Hi, welcome to jennabaspeaks.com um, and Jennifer Speaks Online. I am going to do a quick little tutorial because um, I promised to one of uh, the members in a um, Facebook group dedicated to shop style um, bloggers and influencers and users of that affiliate marketing um, shopping fashion platform, how to uh, create a... Um, how to use the looks and collection um, op uh, options. Now, ShopStyle has its own, ShopStyle Collective has its own tutorials on its website um, that should guide um, its users on how to use it. But sometimes I know some people uh, prefer to do an actual walkthrough because um, it may be not as intuitive as you may think. You'll play around with it, but sometimes if you, you know, see someone else um, create a, a page it makes it easier for you so I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial here on how I created this um, little infographic and also promoted outfits you see this here and using the collections as well so the first thing I did was I went um, a lot of these styles I found on Pinterest on um what's this I call um, Poly 4. Not quite sure if that's how you pronounce it. Um, these outfits. So you can either create your own outfit and use a template like Canva or something to create your own outfit, or you can even borrow someone else's but just give them credit, like I did here. I borrowed BTMS online um, and give them credit. Or you can recreate their own their style and just say you took, you know, um, uh, poetic licensing, but yeah, sort of sort, sort of poetic licensing from from what they did and create a similar look just to monetize this, you know. So in this post, it says five, five K pop, and for those of you who don't know, K pop is Korean pop, which is really um, popular form of music, just pop music in Korea. <laughs> um, but the the bands, like the boy bands and the girl bands that um, are popular out there, have a certain look and style. It's usually really casual. It consists of a lot of like. Converse wearing um, caps, backpacks, but it's like a you know like a schoolboy college sort of thing. But like, not like the Harajuku girls <laughs> that are really colorful and all crazy in Japan. But pop K-pop is just more um, super cash, which is my style. A lot of these outfits, a lot of these items, and the, and these outfits here that I created, are, I have in my closet. Like I have skinny jeans, I have a sweater, I have Converse sneakers, um, plaid shirts. Um, skull caps, Tim Timberland boots. That's this is totally my style. So when I saw this, I was like, "Oh, this is great. Let me create a look on this." So the way you can do it is to is promote it is two different ways. One, you can go and um, borrow someone else's um, canvas, or you can create your own. Um, so, what a popular way of doing it is is Canva. This is one of my Canva boards. I have a couple of them, and this is where I put all my Pinterest um, posters. I try to keep my Pinterest posters looking a certain way for um, continuity and for branding purposes. So if someone sees this, they know this is, this, this is to my, um, from one of my, my, my looks, you know, this came from me. A lot of these have like similar branding. Anyway, so um, you can go here. What Pinterest has now is a new way you can, I mean, Canva has an option to create a design based on a template so you can find a template so i'd go to find template and if you're looking for a fashion because you want to create a fashion collage or a collage you either type fashion and you you know and, and these accounts on um, canva accounts are free you type fashion and then you'll get a lot of different fashion collages so you can use these to make a magazine cover you can use this to make a lookbook you know like the style book and you could just swap out their picture with your own picture because a lot of times the picture that they use um, is you have to pay for it. It's just a dollar, so it's not that much. Um, but in case you don't want to pay a dollar, you have your own images, you can use those. And so it says edit this template. So you can edit this template. Um, and you can put your own um, images in there and swap this out and put your own images. Or you can do what I did recently. Um, you don't have to search. I, I did, I searched collage. Collage. And you would search collage, you'll get a lot of photo collages. And so you can scroll down to see when they look similar to what you want to do. So I got a collage, and um, this is the one I end up with. I'll show you. Um, this was a collage here that I just, it was an existing collage that I swapped it out. So you can put your own pictures in there. I think this was the original collage, or anyway. See all these collages here? 
you have all these collages. So you can just take a collage and swap it out your images. If you want to, you could put numbers. You know how sometimes in guides, someone will have like five different items and they'll number them and then they'll list them underneath. So you can put one, two, three, four. I didn't do that because I just used this, made this collage also the cover. I know this cover doesn't, Pinterest covers, for those of you who don't know, it, the the ratio is two to one, so it's like it has to be um, two times long than it is um, wide. Um, so this is not a Pinterest collage image, but I just I just did this cover for my blog. What you want to do later on after you create your blog post is then you go and you can go to and go back to Canva and and actually which one to create you could have a Pinterest graphic so here's Pinterest graphic and this is the size that Pinterest likes to see graphics these when you make your graphic on Pinterest um, this size it does well for some reason the algorithm promotes it better so this is the better size so after you do your regular graphic for your blog to for your head or your blog because you know a lot of blogs the long one doesn't work and you need like a horizontal one then you create like a Pinterest version just for penning I know it's a lot of work but it's worth it because if you what's the purpose of creating a horizontal one just for your blog and you pin it it doesn't get pushed up in Pinterest so you got to do that extra step in converting it so I'm sorry I'm all over the place here but um but anyway so let's go back to that so you create your you create your collage here's your collage um, with all your item or your cover um, or you borrow a collage or you borrow an already created um, template and then what you do is you go to um, shop style um, shop style collective and um, go to home and you have to see product widget text link look collection and you click look and then um, right there is this drop an image to get started. That's when you go here. You click that image, and it's going to take you to your um, your your. This is your my um, hard drive. So where is it? Why did I do this? Oh, there it is. Yeah. So let's say I take this outfit here, and then that's the image. And then you just click add products. And then you can add products to fit with the style. So, so let's say these are um, Adidas um, pants or whatever, I guess leggings. And so you see all these, you get these uh, different Adidas leggings. So you might not get the exact same kind. This is Ella McCartney, actually. I asked for Adidas. Oh, the Adidas by Ella McCartney. So Adidas pants, women. And you scroll down to so get something that's similar to the look. I'm looking for something that has Adidas stripes on it. Um, if you don't know the exact same one, if you know the brand, you can you can do a link. Um, there's a way to um, link the exact one. I can show you that later. Um, looking for one that has the stripes on it. This is close enough. So I just add that to look, or you can just add different ones, add different pants, because a lot of times these sell out. So if you have one that sells out, it's nice to have two or three different ones on there. So if someone comes to your account later on, you haven't been checking it, they'll have different options. And then you go and you type Adidas tennis shoes. And then here you go. Oh my goodness, do women. Oh. Stripes. I'm gonna put the stripes in it. Oh god, it's like here, yeah, so it's, it's black and white. I'm looking for black and white. I don't know why this is the black and white ones. Um let's just pretend these are black and white. You add that. <laughs> and then let's see Adidas cap. Um we can add Adidas cap. Um this is a denim crop jacket. It's a no crop jacket. Add to look. As again, add several different ones because if it runs out, um, white Adidas shirt. Women, women. Um, then you add this white shirt. This white shirt. Okay. Then the next thing you hit after you have all your op products, is use one. Add the photo. Add the products. Then you have the details. The next to details. So I want to say get this Adidas sporty look, whatever. You can add optional title. The um, Adidas lookbook or, or my um, Adidas style guide or something. Whatever you want to have the headline. You add hashtags. 
um, what happened was so if you have collect selected to have shop style promote yours, they'll look for them certain hashtags and they like your a look that you created, they may promote it for you, which is great because you get um you're gonna get some um traffic that way. So it's always a good idea. This is K pop style, you can put Adidas, casual styling, um, sporty, casual, inspo. And then what they also have is like shop style offers you um, options that they've already created um, so you I add all of them whether it's relevant or not I just usually add them because I know they're looking for them so I'm gonna add them all whether really or not you can add it to collection so I this could be I created several collections already so this could be um, weekend mom whatever then then you want to arrange them because uh, otherwise when it comes up it's gonna see the t-shirt I like to have the outfit all of the items for the outfit arranged. So I'll put the crop shirt first, the t-shirt, then the cap, and then a shoe. And then I'll mix them up with another crop shirt, another pants, another shirt, like that. Just mix it up a little bit. And then you're done and you finish. When you finish, um, you scroll down and you're gonna see a um you're gonna look for the actual one. These are the future ones gonna be on top. These are the ones that stars. And the purpose of that is so when someone goes to just your general shop style collective page, they're going to see these top ones that you hit a star on. See these stars? Um, so then it's, start, then it's chronological order by the last one you input it. So this is the last one I input it. So if you click here, this button here, you'll see it's going to highlight. Hello. Okay, that's the actual link to the actual look. So I'll open up a new tab and I... I, I, you know, paste that link that I just copied. That's the actual look there. So if I want to promote this on this shirt, is, this jacket is expensive. If I want to promote this on Pinterest, Adidas Style Guide. What I'll do if I already have a pin Pinterest marklet on my page. A lot, you know, a lot of times they have them. I have them up here. I have it up here. I have it everywhere. I have it in my save file. I have all different ways you can pin Pinterest. So let's for save, and then I can pin that look to um, a fashion board. Style pick board, and then it's saved there. So that's one way to save that look. Now, if I want to also, okay, let me before I do that, let me go back. Um, oops, yeah, so that's one thing. And let's go back to Shop Style Collective. So let's go back to that look. Here is, um, oh, yeah, this is when you pitch just if you pick click this, it'll go straight to the look. That's the eye, go straight to the look itself, it'll open up a new page. Um, and then you can trash it if you want to. You just push the star, it'll be your top feature one, like I mentioned before. Another thing that's great, if you want to take this look and move it from just a look to your blog, you can convert it to a product widget. So when you convert the project widget, you can add the price. I'm going to take the price off because it's real expensive. Add two rows. Um, you can decide whether you want to show the brand or not. Um, you know, you can add captions if you want to, all of them. Um, show some information on the hover. Like that instead of I like this way instead of showing that the same you put the price instead of the price being there the price would be available on hover I like that it's really cool and then you adjust the size here if you want you know a lot of times I'll make it smaller so it can fit on one thing otherwise you get this and then you publish when you get published you get an embed you can save it you're gonna get an embed code oops okay uh where is that widget to oh there there it is okay <laughs> I'm gonna go back to that some reason I didn't save it. Update. Okay. So then you copy the embed code and the copies, and then you go back to your blog post. And let's say I was going to edit this. You edit this. Let's say I was going to add that look to here. Um, then I go inside. This is inside my the back scene behind my blog. And then you hit the text, and then you drop it here. You know wherever you want to put it. You know. So, for example, this one after this outfit, I, I dropped it here. So you drop the code here. See, it's, this is sold out already. Um, you just drop the code after the outfit, right? And then you hit print. I'm not gonna do that because I was I was just showing you. I already print published this already. Then after you hit publish, the next thing view the post. And someone's asking, how do you? Pin it twice. I mean, can you pin have one 
pin go back to two different locations. You can't. What you do is you pin it twice. That's how you um, get it to go back to different places. So one is for just um, straight to shop style. So someone can just shop straight there, and that's just one click away. Another way, which is great for driving traffic back to your site, is you pin it. So I have the same look here that I already pinned. Then you can just pin that to Pinterest. And you say K-pop inspired look, and then I'll put style pics, and then there you go. Then it's you see it now, and that's that pin on on this board, and so that's it. So that's how you do it. So I'm trying to think. Is there anything else you need to know? So, um, so you do Canva, you, and then after that, after you do it, you go back to Canva and create a actual um. Uh, an infographic. You could pin the infographic as well if you want to promote the entire page, entire article. Like this article here was, see it says, my fave K-pop inspired looks. This needs to be long. So I would take this and go to Canva and create a, a, a long um, a board. And then that way I can pin this poster to, to Pinterest and get promote the, all five of the looks to go back to my page. I'm not doing that right now, but that's you can you know, get the idea. Um, so that's it. Um, and um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Nope, that's it. So if you um, hope that tutorial was helpful, if you're interested in learning more, I have a class a course called the Digital Publishing Academy. Actually, it's an online learning platform. I started it about a year ago and I created it to teach like people who want to grow businesses online, whether it's an e-commerce store or a blog or a um, a vlog uh, or a podcast um, or just um, if they're an existing small business or, or you want to open up a blog just to promote your brand. I teach people how to basics of blogging. And so I have various different courses and they start at free. So um, and they range up to I think $2.99 is the most expensive class. But this course right here is free. Um um, this course, How to Get in Front of Internet Influencers, is free. Um, 10 Ways to Monica's Facebook group is free. So there's free courses on there. And they're as small, low as like $9. You know, Media Kit 101. All these courses aren't available. But the way I'm doing it is that when I get sufficient enrollment per session, I'd like to do them um, I'd like to do them um, with the most updated information. So even if I might have published a course before and made it available, if I make it, a, if I publish a new course, what I do is um, clear out all the existing subscribers or students, and then I wait till I get a certain number of students in it, and then I publish the course. Uh, but I'm, I don't create the content before I get an interest in it because for those of you who create courses, you know that's like a, a total time waste. <laughs> You'll make sure people are interested in it before you. Um, you create it. So um, if you go to digitalpublishing.teachable.com, um, you'll see you get access to the school and the courses and you get some more information. I'm going to be doing more tutorials and filling out some of the free classes. So um, keep maybe just keep bookmark this site um, for future. Um, anyway, that's it. I hope it was helpful to you. I am and that's it for me for now. This is Jennifer Jalo Gat, JJ Gat from JennifaSpeaks.com. I'm also on the web at Belly Edge Blog, which is my blog. I have a blog called Jennifer Speaks. I have a blog called Tech Yaya, which is just tech. And then I have a braid blog called JJBraids.com. Then I have this school. And I also have a startup <laughs> company, um, which is a stock photography company that I'm, I'm incubating right now. So along with my blogs and my school and my um, startup, I stay pretty busy because I also have uh, three kids and a husband. Um, so I, I stayed busy and, and active, but I liked instructing people and like giving inspiration, like guiding folks and sharing information that I know with other folks as well. So there you go. Hope that was helpful. Talk to you soon. One of these days, I'm going to actually do a tutorial. When I, You know the tutorials they have when the person's face is back at the bottom. I just have to get it together because you have to look decent, at least I think, before you pop yourself and do one of those pop-ups but i use camtasia um which i'll also put in this video below so if you want to get camtasia um so you can do your own um tutorials like this i'll i'll share with you how to access it all right talk to you soon bye-bye